and of course I hit it. Are you kidding? That's a joke. Oh, baby. Great recovery. Stay right. Oh, that was just a horrible, horrible shot. What's up, guys? We're back in another video. Today we're playing another two ball scramble at Vedanta Acapulco. This is the front nine this time. We're gonna be playing the blue tees, which is about 3,200 yards. So my last score in the back nine here was minus four for a two ball scramble. So this time I'm gonna to try to shoot that or better. So let's see how we do. This is a 438 par four. Using my driver here, let's see if we can pump these up to the center of the fairway. Oh boy, that was a big slice. I think it's okay on the 18th green, but let's see if we can do this one a bit better. Much better. Yeah, that's a good shot. Okay, we're about 115 away. Wind's a bit behind me, so I'm actually gonna use my 58 degree. Kind of aim for the center of the green, because I don't want to put the water in play. Let's see how we do here. Oh, that was just a horrible, horrible shot. Wow. Well, I found the left side of the green, but I want to actually have a better shot than that. That's in the drink. Yep, carplunk. Not great shots, but we have a shot here. All right. If you would have asked me which shot I'd be taking, I wouldn't be saying this one. But we're taking the first one. Putt left to right break. Pretty hefty putt here. Privilege of seeing which way it breaks as I get the first shots. All right, decent putt. Good weight. Just gotta aim a bit further out left. Bend in. Bend in. Oh! Just burn the edge. All right, well, off the first with a par. One of the more challenging holes on the front nine, so not the end of the world. We have a lot of opportunities to make some birdies. All right, we got ourselves about 135. Wind is a little bit into us, but crosswind. Gonna use my 50 degree here. Hopefully it's the right club. If not, we can always change it for the second shot, but let's see if we can put a close one here. Overcooked it. Four! Well, almost killed those guys, but uh, thankfully went right over their head. Let's see if we can put a little less asante goo on this one. Oh my god, I chunked it, but I think it, it's going to be okay. Okay, not a great shot, but we're safe just off the fringe. Okay, we're actually just in the rough here before the green. Use my 54 degree. Gonna kind of bump and run this to a degree. Kind of just keep it low. Greens are pretty soft right now, so let's see if we can put this one close. Pull right to left. Oh, I pushed that one. Decent distance, I just blocked it. Just gonna aim this one right at it. Did the same thing. That was a horrible chip. Oh no. All right, we're taking my first chip here. I think it's just about a cup and a half out to the right, right to left break. Gotta make these. Burns the edge. Hit a little too firm. I think their line is perfect though. I just hit it a bit softer. Oh, that's an ugly bogey. All right, got a few holes to make up some putts, or make up some strokes. Okay, so we are plus one after two. Not where we wanna be, but it's not bad. Uh, this is actually one of the tougher holes on this nine, and then we have a few birdieables. So 383 yard par four, dog leg right. Gonna use my five iron here, play a bit of a draw and put it into the fairway. And then if it's good, then we're gonna try the same thing, but just with a cut with a four. Okay, in the fairway. Uh, a little bit of a longer shot than I wanted, but let's try to use the four here and do a cut. Off the toe and I ended up drawing it, but I think that one's gonna be better than the first, so. Yeah, not bad. Also, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button, click that thumbs up. I'm excited about how much fun we're gonna have this summer on the channel. Gonna have a lot of match plays going on, 
more of these scramble type videos and also trying to shoot par from the red series. So hit that subscribe button. We're gonna have a lot of fun this summer. We're 175 out to the pin here. The wind behind us a bit, so I'm gonna use my nine. Hopefully it's enough. If not, we have another chance at it. So let's see if we can put this on the green. Be the club. That's right at the pin if it's the right club. I think that's perfect. A little bit left of the pin, end up flying, but I think it's a good shot. Yeah, I just looked at it through my range finder, it's right in the middle of the green, so let's see if we can put it this one a bit closer. Zero draw on that one. Okay, we have a, we have a putt up birdie. I think it's pretty straight downhill, maybe a little bit left to right break. Let's find out after this, but this is all about speed here too. Oh my gosh, just missed. Pretty good line maybe if I didn't hit it as hard. This could be it. Get in there, baby. Oh my God. Damn, I really wanted one of those. That's fine. All right, still plus one after three. Got a par five coming up next, which we should get a birdie on. All right, so we got a par five, 517 yards. We really got to put one of these drivers in play. Uh, the driver's feeling a bit sketchy right now, so. Hopefully I can put one in play and get it up there so we can have a good shot at getting on the green in two and have an eagle putt. So let's see how we do. And a horrible, horrible drive. What the heck was that? Try that again. Not that, but you know what I mean. Oh, baby. Great recovery. Stay right. It actually ended up drawing a little bit more than I wanted. I think we're in the trees, but at least we're up there. All right, well, not an ideal place to be on a par five for your second shot. It's gonna be tough to get on the green here. Basically, I have to use a punch shot through these trees and try to roll up. I'm using my four iron here. Let's see how we do. This is not gonna be easy. Put it in the back of my stance, keep my face closed. And I snap hooked it. Oof. I might try that same thing, but around the tree this time. Snap hook it like that again on the right side of the tree. Back of my stance, closed. Oh my God, that was an excellent shot. Keep going, baby. All right, just short of the green. That was actually a very nice shot. Okay, just trying to chip my 54 degree here. A little bit better than the par three, hopefully, because that was not a great chip. Usually my chipping is one of my stronger attributes in my game. So I'm just gonna try to keep it out to the right by about a foot and let it funnel towards the pin. And hopefully just have a tap in bird or an eagle. Uh, checked up a little bit more than I would like, but it wasn't a bad line. It's gonna mark it. Let's see if we can't put this one inside of there. Wow, that one didn't check up at all on me. All right, now these are must make putts here. Take the pin out. Really need this birdie. I'm gonna take a second to read this one. Okay, I'm gonna play it about a ball out to the right, let it funnel in. Man, we are just not having luck right now with the plastic. I'm not gonna give as much of it away here. Oh my God. Fuck. That is an unfortunate par. Just one of those days where the flat stick doesn't seem to be working as well as you would like it to. All right, on to the par four here, 340 yards. Dog leg right. I'm gonna put my four iron out there. If I put it in play, then I'm probably gonna go for the green because I can go over the trees and kind of cut the corner and go for it. So. I'll use my two iron in that case, but hopefully I just put my four iron out there in a good spot. Still gonna cut these trees a little bit here with my four. Yep, that was a nice shot. So now we're gonna use the two. I can't quite reach the green, it's about 280. So still gonna use my two iron, but I don't, know, I don't have to wait for these guys to get off the green. I'll just go right now. Ah, not a great strike. I don't know what I did there. Just didn't feel good. But we got one in a good spot. So let's go make something happen. Alrighty, about 85 yards out here. I have a bit of palm tree problem. So I'm gonna use my 58 degree, open up my face a bit, get up and over that tree and land soft. Let's see how we do. I think this one should be okay. Yep, pin high, just a bit left. 
See if we can do the same thing, but put it a little bit more at the pin. Ah, blocked it out to the right. Okay, well, we have a couple options. All right, well, my other one was a bit closer, but it was on the fringe and I just hate putting off that stuff. So we're gonna use this one. Not a bad option. There's not too much happening on the green. So maybe left edge. Let's see. Get in there. Come on, baby. Oh, just not dropping for us. Let's see if we can put this puppy in. A little too firm. Damn. All right, this is pretty easy. Just right edge here. All right, another par, plus one after five. Well, it's not for the lack of chances. I'm getting lots of birdie looks and birdie putts, but just they're just not rolling in. Uh, my putting's just not there today. But I'm not gonna lie, these this series where this two ball scramble are probably my most favorite things on the channel to do. They're a lot of fun, they're not as stressful. Uh, hopefully you guys like them too. Leave a comment down below. I'd love to hear your opinion on these. Got a par three here. Let's see if we can make a golf shot. All right, so par three, about 130 yards, actually very similar to hole number two. So I'm gonna use my 50 degree. It's a front pin. Is there a bit of wind actually? Wind right to left, okay. Chunked it. Well, I just gave those guys a free golf ball. That was not a good shot at all. Tee box is a bit wonky here. That's one of the most important things on a golf course is the tee box. If it's flat and level, I love it. If it's wonky or the ball's above your feet or below your feet, it's like, what the hell? This should be the easiest lie on the whole hole. Okay, be the club, baby. Come on. Just a bit short, but not bad. Okay, we are just short of the green, but it's okay. We actually have a makeable birdie putt here. I think it's looking a little bit right to left. So just maybe a ball out to the right. Hopefully I get a, a good bounce off this fringe. A little bit uphill. You've gotta be kidding me. Dead straight. And even like turned a bit left at the end there. Nope, blocked it. Oh, another par. Can't buy a birdie today, I tell you. Off to the next. Still one over. Okay, 350 yard par four. Wind is a little bit into my face. We just gotta put one of these puppies in play so we can be in striking distance because this is a big hole for the round here. Keep cutting. Keep cutting, baby. Yeah, it's an excellent ball. Let's see if we can try to hit this one a bit further. And maybe on the right hand side a bit more. Ah, drew it and pulled it. All right, we got one up in play. Let's go put this on the green close. All right, 62 yards. We clearly have a bit of an obstruction in our way. So I think I'm just gonna aim for it, the pin and see what happens. Hopefully I don't hit a tree. I mean, there's probably 5% of the air there between those two trees that I can hit, but hey, let's see if we can put it close. I'm gonna aim to the top left. And of course I hit it. Are you kidding? That's a joke. Well, what are the odds of hitting it twice in a row? They gotta be much more slim than 5% now. So I'm gonna be stubborn and do the exact same thing because that was actually gonna be a really nice shot. Okay, this could be good. Just sit, sit down a bit. I think that's pretty good. Maybe, oh, we'll find out. Okay, well, we made a really nice golf shot. Once again, we have an excellent look at birdie here. It is a bit more of a challenging putt though, I will say that. Pretty big left to right break. So this is gonna be very speed dependent. Let's see if we can make some magic happen here. We need, we need a bird. That plus one is just burning a hole through my scorecard. Finally, let's go. Well, I mean, it's very unlikely that we're gonna be getting a minus four this round. But let's see if we can't finish with two or three under in the last two holes. I think that's possible. There's a par five in the last hole. 
and this is a very approachable par four. All right, a 363 yard par four. Just a little baby dog leg left. I'm kind of hoping to just start this off in the center of the fairway and make it go a little bit, draw it in a little bit behind that palm tree. So let's see if we can put our thoughts into action here. Slightly into the wind again. You know what? That was actually a good miss. I completely hit it on my toe, but it ended up going just in the center of the fairway. So now I can really swing out of my shoes on this one and try to get some extra yardage. Well, definitely swung out of my shoes and definitely just lost the ball. But we got one in the fairway. All right, back in the fairway. About 73 yards to the pin, it's a back pin here. This is interesting because I'm getting a lot of spin on my balls today, so I don't know really where I should land this. I, mean, I actually might just try to knock this one down a bit. Kind of just land it right at the pin, 73 yards. Be the club. Oh, it's short. And that spun all the way off the green. I don't even know what to do here. Maybe knocking it down isn't the call. It puts, puts too much spin on it. Gotta go a bit. Yeah, that one didn't put nearly as much spin on. Well, we have a birdie putt, but not the distance that we'd be looking for, for an easy birdie, but anything's possible. All right, pretty hefty putt for bird, uphill. I think it's somehow actually pretty straight. I think I'm just gonna aim a little bit to the left and see what happens. Oh, well, good weight. And I think it was pretty much just dead straight, maybe just like a little bit, I'm gonna aim right edge. I pushed it and didn't hit it. Ah, that's unfortunate. Cause I think that would have gone in if I just gave it enough juice. All right, just a three foot knee knocker. Oh, that would have sucked. Heart started to pound a bit there. Even after eight, got a par five coming up here. Let's get a bird, baby, or an eagle. All right, last hole, here we go. Let's put a freaking drive in the fairway. This is a big one. The driver is feeling a bit shaky, so I just want to put a good drive, hit the, find the center of the fair, find the center of the, find the center of the head face. Head face? Find the center of the face, I think. That was a bit healy. And I ended up just fading it a bit to the right. As you can see with the shot tracer technology. Oh, gotta have a better shot than that. I know I have it in me. That was not it. I'm in the other fairway. Two bad shots, but if they're not out of play. They're not gone. I will have a shot at the green, I think. Just not ideal though. That's the only problem. All right, well, we're in the fairway. Just not the right one, but it's okay. We are 235 out, wind is into our face. Gonna use a four iron and it's uphill, so I'm not gonna get there, but we are certainly gonna try. I think it might be even a red pin, front pin. But if you made it this far, thanks so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video as much as I've enjoyed filming them and editing them. And if you have not already, feel free to subscribe and hit that thumbs up. And hopefully you come along for the journey this summer because we're gonna have a lot of fun. This wind is just ripping right now. Walked it out to the right. Yeah, not a good shot. Let's see if we can put this one a little bit more to the left. That was a fucking strike. I think it's short, but that was a really nice, really nice shot. Well, just short of the green, but that's fine. We have a pretty good look at a chip here. Honestly, I think I can chip this one in. Let's not get ahead of myself, eh? yeah, whatever. Worst case scenario, put it close for a tap in birdie. That's worst case scenario. Best case scenario is this. Fuck. Never mind. Okay. Pay attention, Bittner. Oh, baby. I don't even need a putter for that one. Okay. At least we finished under par. That was a great round. Thanks so much for watching, guys. I had a freaking blast filming this. And hopefully we see you guys in one of the next ones. Peace.